this lie. camera on me? <laughs> what, they see the R. Kelly interview? <laughs> oh, my God, man. I was R. Kelly? Man, yes, everybody done seen that thing. <laughs> I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> I don't want to be Yo. Look. Hey, man, Yo. all I hear is the stuff that they say about me. I ain't never <laughs> watch, oh, I ain't They be talking about me the most. They be talking, no, they about, me the they be talking about me on the podcast. I don't know. We're talking about we talk to your bunch. You know how many people know about this Whataburger incident? <laughs> I'm running 40. They're talking about it. They're talking about it at the combine. I'm running 40. He can down three doubles before the plane comes down. <laughs> like, God, no. Because it's a true story. It's not. Dalen. Okay, hold on. You, you want to start with this, Dalen? Yeah, we can start off with this. Well, let's start with that's that. That's what everybody wants. I come through about. in webs. Okay, Dalen, first off. Like, I'm Joe Button. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to yeah, talk about all that. Yeah, bro. man. Let's, that don't, that don't nah, let's talk about no it. More, though, man. I, I'm just curious. I was five years ago. Digging up the past. He digging up the past. But I'm trying to hear about what was really going on. Yeah. Last time he was on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. When he was texting me, talking about, hey, hey bro, bro, get some offers. I got the JD was in my DMs too. JD was in my DMs too. He tell my hey, bro. But no, the crazy thing is, because I actually gave you a shout out for that though. Yeah. I said, look, bro, I actually eat, I tasted or whatever it was. I hit Dalen up. Hit me up on Facebook. Hey, bro, I'm gonna get some offers. <laughs> hey, man. Facebook? I don't know. This is before Twitter and whatnot. No. I didn't know. I didn't have Twitter or Instagram until like senior high school. And that's when it changed. Yeah. So I looked up Dalen Mac, found him on there, like, yo, bro. The, you didn't have to look too far. He was the first person that offers, bro. East Come on, Texas, now. East Texas legend, just like, Pat <laughs> just like Pat Mahomes. You know how we did it. Whatever, but no, no. Let's Pat let's start. Let's start right here. Yeah, just, just start. We can go anywhere, man. We can go. Anywhere. Hold on, hold on, real quick though, real quick. Dalen Mack, Otaro Alaka, welcome back to the podcast, OT. Yeah, you know I'm in the building, man. Shout out Brooklyn, East Brooklyn, two one six, New Rochelle, at Queensbridge. Stand You're not from there, out. but Dalen Mack, Dalen Mack, how you doing, baby? I'm doing good, man. I've been waiting to get on the show for a minute now. Tell I'm gonna go straight to the mustard, though, brother. Cut that off real quick. Hold, hold, hold up, dog. Don't cut me off like that. Real quick, brother, because I, I want to say this. I want to say this. Twice, I tried to get you on a podcast, Daylon. Yeah. One time, you called me and canceled the night before. I respected that. Yeah. Another time, I called you at the time of the podcast. You answered the phone and said, no, nah, I'm going to have to cancel today. The time it was supposed to start. What's up with that, bro? I had other, you know. Big Very obligations. unprofessional, by the way. Let me throw that Very. in there. Just throw that in there, brother. I had bigger obligations. Bigger, bigger obligations. <laughs> what are you talking then, down? Man, That's crazy. During, hey, you know, it was during that time. You know, I was in season mode, man. I'm sorry. So you had a nap to take. That's really what it was. I'm just in season mode, man. There ain't, yeah. no, ain't no stats on this. Come on, it's just stats from the last game right there. No, I ain't looking at that. <laughs> okay, the real reason I wanted to bring you on, because I've heard some shots that have hailed from your corner, okay? Yeah. Regarding my podcast, you question the validity of some of the stuff we say on here. Let me bring up two examples specifically. Question mm -hmm. it very hard. Let's talk about it. Okay, so first off, oh, see, I brought this up on me and your podcast. 100%. We had a conversation. I talked about me and Dalen as recruits. Dalen, you can't confirm we took recruiting visits together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. On one of these visits, we made a stop at local Whataburger. The spot. Your okay. favorite place. Now, at this Whataburger, I went ahead and placed my order. I was being a little bit humble. Got me like a double meat, maybe a little medium fry. Yeah. The drink, the traditional. Yep. And so, Dalen then's on. He then goes on to tell his dad, "I'm gonna get the usual." So yeah. far, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the usual. You know, okay, the, the usual. usual. The usual. Me and now, Pop, me did, and Pop's did, go to Whataburger all the usual, time. Or did he say the usual? It might have been the usual. Now I think about it. Nah, you, you know, say, <laughs> I said I said the usual. I had the usual. So yeah, let me grab the usual. Okay. Now, in my mind, in that moment, I'm thinking, okay, how often do you come here to get the usual? You know what I'm saying? Man, you Whataburger, follow me? Whataburger is a local joint, man. Yeah, it's, it ain't, it's, it's a local joint, but okay. Anyway, and so the story goes on. You go on. Your dad goes up there and orders. I think it was two double meats, two medium, two large fries, whatever it was, and a large drink. That's, right. that's about accurate. Yeah. Okay. I brought that up. OT said it's one hundred percent true. Yeah. You like your baked potatoes. You like your, you like your, your, your double meats, whatever. Now, when I brought Cullen on the podcast, first of all, you said that story was false. Cullen's story is false. Okay. Cullen's story. Cullen said that before the plane would even take off, you would crush down three tri what triple meats or double. That's meat? true. Dana. Three double meat water burgers. Come on, man. That's true. But now then he told. Then he told the story. But, but the, the, the <laughs> thing is, that's not so far fetched because a lot of people. It's not. A lot of people was eating two of them. Mm. I was one of them so, people. So for, if I'm eating two, mm. you probably could eat four. Wait, wait, so you, so, so, so you two. settled for three. No, I had two. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you how. Not it's no, no, because this, uh, no, this, this is my story. Tell the story. Tell the story. What happened? Yeah. So, 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 you so, so, so the dude that was passing them around would see uh -huh. people like, oh, he already has one. Let's wait for everyone else to get their second. 
Yeah, and Dalen okay. would hide his. That's what Cuz said. Did we know Dalen already me. had two tucked du- away oh, in the, you know like what I mean? Like the double guns. Let me tell you. He said, oh, I was, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was back pocket. Okay, Dalen, what happened? Tell me. Man, so this is what happened. So Is this story true about, that Cullen told about pulling them out? No. Let me just, let me tell you what happened. So, <laughs> you get on the plane. You know, you get you go into your seat or whatever, first class. Um, they give you one. You know, you get a, you get a burger, Whataburger, get on the plane. You know, Jimbo changed it up for us this year. Right. You got Whataburger. So, everybody's getting hype, you know. The burgers had cheese on it. That's a plus. Absolutely. So, we get on the plane. I got one. So, right. Eric McCoy, uh-huh. you know, he said, hey, you know, you want my burger. I was like, shit, yeah, you know. Because the lady was taking a long time to come, oh, out, yeah. come out with the seconds. So, you're not going to pass up on it. So, so look, Cullen hadn't got to his seat yet. Mm-hmm. So, he passed it to me. And the week prior, I had an extra one and I split it with him. But this time, okay. I was, I, you know, I was hungry. <laughs> So, okay. So we sitting in the seat, you know. Uh, he's like, "Hey, you got that? You got the extra from Aaron?" I was like, "Nah, you know what? Not this time. You know, I actually really right, ain't right, got right, it this right, time. Right, you know, right. just trying to trying to play it cool." But you did have. And so the lady, oh yeah, for sure. I had okay. It. So the lady come back. She passing around, but I didn't take one. Okay. And so Cullen got his. You know, you know, I'm like okay, Cullen got his. So he's, oh, you did have one. You know, so it's two. Right. So come to find out, you know, he gets on the store, the podcast, right. and he said, "Oh, Dalen crushed three. And I was like, "Well, I had two. Three. Hey, look, Dalen. He said you pulled two of them out like you had guns tucked in there. <laughs> pulled my head. Yeah, like story. Right <laughs> look, the story is fabricated. It didn't happen like that. Now, let me tell you somebody who did have three. Okay, Kingsley Kiki. I knew you were gonna throw yeah, because he, because Kiki sitting over there with you. That's the type of person you are. That's the type of person. Like, I hadn't been on the show, and y'all was talking about me for the last. Five weeks. I never said a word about you, Dale. I Man, never said a word. Dale, the only thing we talked about. Let's, hold on, let's pull up the other show. Pull up, pull up, <laughs> the, old <laughs> clips. Pull up the old clips. DJ Vlad. But no, the only thing we, we've said about you, we talked about your dressing ability. Me and OT have talked okay, about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, but, but OT, basically, OT. Just, just. I got the most swag. On, swag I had right the now. most swag on this. Okay, okay hold on, Dale. Hold on. There's a reason that people talk about your dressing ability. You think that's biased? Do you think it's. I think it's very biased. Biased towards you know Towards who? How 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 is that biased? It's just off the, just gauging your. Well, well, we'll take that hat off. Let's see that hairline. But hold on, before I, I just, <laughs> oh, no, I just no, worked no, out. No. So my hat. Need to work out on. I that. ain't see you in the weight room this morning. That's well, the crazy you, thing. Well, you know what? I was there. But hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was in the weight room working out. <laughs> Let so me pull up a couple Thursday. pictures real quick, just so I can hear you. Actually, you, hey, actually, you, actually, you know what? I don't need you to do that. OT brother, I don't no, know if you've no, seen this no. picture, brother. I, I, I went creeping this morning. I went, I went back in the archives, went creeping this morning. Have you seen this picture right oh here? Oh my God! Hey, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a school function. You had to dress a certain type. You had to dress a certain. Okay, okay, okay. See the photo. Hey, no phones, man. It's all no phones out here today. We was all off the top of the head. Let me get phone back, bro. We don't need it right now. We talking. Come on, brother. Yeah, you know this is a school function. You know. Yes, sir. Are you? Are you serious? Yeah, boy, gonna hey, believe man, you you not go believe me on my phone. You not gonna see that. Let me just say, Jenny, 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 man. Man, you know what? <laughs> it was a. Uh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> boy, I got school hey. function. You know, you had a world. You know, that was school uniform. Polo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School. Let's go ahead and school assess uniform. this fit. Okay, go ahead and break it down. So let's start at the pants. The boy got the fifty by twenty eight dickies on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Fit the fifty by twenty eight joints. The they go dickies? straight down, same width all the way down. <laughs> he got the little, <laughs> he got the little rope belt, that little Boy Scout belt that he, hey, that he got hanging in the front. Let it, let it hang down. You used to fold it down in the front. Sophomore year, sophomore year. Was you got the Target time. polo button up to the top, squeezing his neck. <laughs> it's all right though. Oh, you know, is boy. that a long sleeve that you rolled up? No. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, nah. that's a joy. See, them sleeves just extra long. You know. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean. It's Hold not on. And it's, it's, another it's just school uniform. Yeah. School uniform. School uniform. But all right, no more pictures. There's, there's no more pictures. I understand that. Okay. But there's one more that one. I, <laughs> there has to be one where there's one more that I kind of wanted to bring up too, bro. I was just looking last night. Please like, be the man. one that I'm talking about. <laughs> also, let me apologize to the people who are listening to this on iTunes or Spotify. You can't see this right now, but head over to the YouTube channel and you can check it out. Taylor Mac. Oh uh, yeah, you know we, we've had a discussion. Oh uh, right no, now. not that. What's one? wrong with that? Listen. Thailand. FBI investigation. <laughs> well, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Man, look, you know, you know what's funny though. So hold on, hold on. So I actually so, didn't see a big so problem with this. Was that Halloween? Not- 
Oh, 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 okay. Bro, one of the fa- one of the fans <laughs> nah. told me this, bro. <laughs> oh, one of the one of no, the fans okay. committed a real crime. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the you fan- like you like you like this getting recorded. You like this getting recorded. Oh, yeah. all right, all right, all right. But one of the fans oh. sent me that, bro. Like, look, please address this man's fit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it wasn't nothing really wrong with that. He was, really going, was. he was going to a banquet. This is just a high school swag. High school banquet, and then last photo, Dalen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's gotta know. be the one with Kyler in there somewhere. No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do that one, bro. I didn't do that. Oh that's yeah, the best one. No, no. That's the- <laughs> I just I just pulled this one up because it's kind of funny, bro. Look at you. This oh no, nah, man, that don't count. Man, you, can't count you can't count that, man. I'm, oh, you can't count that. No, oh, man, you can't count that. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got off course now. Oh, you man. can't count that. We, I can't even see it now. Nah, they just, we, we, we at Disney World, just having a good time. You know, I'm ten years old. Just turn it. Just turn it. You know, ten years old with the glasses, man. That's the family pick. Which one is you? Which one is me? You know that's me. Okay. I'm gonna throw you off the stage. <laughs> that's just a funny picture, bro. I'm yeah. next to Mickey Mouse. Oh, it's funny because his T-shirt say Triple X on it. <laughs> it say Two X. Two X. I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, I better sweat. I gotta be sweating. You good, bro? You thirsty? Need some water? Anything? Nah, yes, please. Damn, bro, I'm Actually, I some water last out, so I would like some some water. Or you something. would, cause I can go grab you something. For this is the second time I've been on here. Damn, yeah, bro, I didn't get no you water either. Bro, I normally ask the guests if they need water. Oh god, you want some water, down? No, I'm good. Can you see me? I'm really am hot though. My arms looking big today. Get this nigga. Dale, how many reps you hit on 25? 30. Most in the SEC. Nah, we, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw you put it up there. So you gonna hit forty of them, though? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, had, you know, combine was a little bit overrated. Mm. Talk about it. I like they. It was, I'm actually curious though. Was it about what you expected? The combine? No, nah, I, I wish I could go back in time and um, I probably would have put some more time into some other stuff because, like the day we did the the two the two twenty five test, yeah, we was up at like seven. Took the wonder lick. They did psychological testing. Mm-hmm. Uh, went to this other room. Like mm-hmm. we didn't get a chance to, we didn't get a chance to actually bench press until like four o'clock. And they had us like sit. Right. Like before we bench press, we were sitting around for like three hours, like just doing uh-huh. nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's really just a lot of stuff that like kind of, it kind of gets you off your routine, the stuff that you've been doing, mm-hmm. like prepping. It's actually hard to kind of like get away because you're up there for like three or four days before you actually even get on the field and like do your drills and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so uh, it's kind of hard to like. Sneak away a little bit and kind of go to like wherever you're, uh, the place you were training at. Go to that suite or whatever and do right. a little bit of training. You know, just just to stay fresh, stay in the groove of things. It was uh, I'm just really overrated. You for for just ten reps. Yeah, you, know, you get two forties, two jumps, two fives, ten fives. You out. And the drills. I mean, <coughs> it, at the combine, like the drills, like there were so many talented people there. Yeah. So and the drills weren't hard. So like. Like everybody simple positional stuff yeah so it was hard to like really separate yourself because like everybody's good and the drills are easy so everybody just looks good in the drills yeah mm-hmm. so maybe they were looking for people that just look bad at it you know what i'm saying but it's like, kind yeah, of well, that's, yeah that's mainly what it, the combine is to yeah but it's kind of like wrong. the drills yeah. were just so i mean it was generic like you you a high school kid can do that stuff like come <laughs> over the bags hey. yeah you know come out the bag i saw they had you backpedaling yeah, you know, we just run forward, backpedal. <laughs> they had a back. You see that video? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the way I did it, like that one drill was like I popped up and I waited for him to tell me a direction to go. Yeah. But they told you like, hey, when you pop up, go to the right, come back. When you come to me, I'm gonna send you to that cone. Like you knew everywhere you was going, so mm. you was you was kind of like a step ahead. You didn't have to wait for, like to change direction or anything like that. Yeah. So it was. But, you know, I I probably would have put some more time into some other, some other stuff. You know, I I, I put a lot of I, I put a lot of time into the drills just because I wasn't I didn't really know them. Yeah. But uh, like when I closer when I got closer to the combine, I was like, you know, I'm putting too much time in these drills, and they're right. just they're just basic drills. Like it's not right. it's nothing really hard. So it was just overrated. It's just a big physical. Okay. That's basically what it was. They just wanted to get big, all your medical. Yeah, and they just wanted to get all your medical stuff. Like, it was like the first two or three days, it was like medical stuff. Yeah. So. I was talking to OT last night about the, like the interviews and whatnot. How was your interview process? Interview process was smooth. Uh, 
I think the craziest thing I got asked was um, they asked me. They said, uh, "Would you, if Terrell Suggs asked you to um, carry his uh, like equipment to the um, to the locker room after practice, would you do it?" Yeah, and I'm thinking. Uh, they're trying to see if you're a punk. Yeah, right? yeah, they, yeah. I, <laughs> would, so if Von Miller asked you to get his stuff Listen. after the practice, you're not going to get it for him? <clears throat> would I get his helmet? Would you get his shoulder pads and his helmet? Would I get his shoulder pads and his helmet? Well, it, why, why did he ask you this I question, mean, though? Why he just wanted, to see, just wanted to see what I would say. Let's see if you're a team <clears throat> dude or they want to see if you're a punk. Like, they're going to let you punk him. I mean, I'm a, I asked him, I said, am I a rookie? He's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, punk. <laughs> so, so you wouldn't get Vaughn stuff. Listen, so listen. the Broncos draft you. you just tell punk, me, would you dog. get Vaughn stuff? You a punk, hey, look, dog? Hey, Von Miller, hand you his, his jock strap. You gonna carry it? He tossed it over. He said, "Hey, hey, Big Mac, hold on." To hey, it. And I, and I, and he flung it. And he hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you carry? Hey, rookie, listen. 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 They ain't <laughs> asked me. They asked you. <laughs> they asked you. Okay, so they I, asked you though. So, but you're not gonna get it, Justin. Yes. Next question. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. Are you going to Listen, get his stuff? You failed it. You failed it. <laughs> nah, because he, he said, oh, okay. he liked what he heard. I guess he said, oh, okay, that's good. Uh, but what he really wrote, that's yeah. a pun. <laughs> God bless him. Oh, man. Oh, you, seen, you seen Chris' situation, bro? The one about the uh, how many testicles you have? You yeah, seen that? Yeah, that, that was pretty uh, That was pretty crazy. Why do you think they asked that? I don't know. I just want to see. I, knowing Chris, he probably said five. Or 10. I was sitting there trying to think about why they would ask that question. Though. You seen that question, OT? Yeah, yeah they asked him about it. Yeah, there was a lot of people that uh, Kiki got some funny stories. He told me about some of the teams. I can't really say that that's his business, but. Yeah, he didn't want to get out here and tell him. Yeah, he, he had some funny you stories. You got any funny stories, OT? Nah, bro. I, I, I told you about that first one where they was grilling me. Oh, yeah, where yeah. I was, you know, I, was, <laughs> I was coming from that six hours of MRI, so I'm tired. Mm-hmm. And then immediately, as soon as I get back, I got the coaches telling me to come to the train station, which yeah. is where everybody meets. So I'm really out of it, and I ain't oh, really out trains on there. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was it was trains. Nice. It's it's like a hotel that has a little train thing. Yeah, you can okay, actually stay okay. in the you can actually stay in the train. Yeah, okay, it was actually pretty dope. Stuff, yeah, 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 it was nice. But, but but I mean, like the combine, like they would keep you up till twelve, make you wake up at four, and then you don't have nothing till seven. So like it's that big gap. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just weird. Like, they just want you up at all times. Then they make you, like, early in the morning, they want you to take, like, these tests, sit around, go to a meeting, mm. sit around, go to a room, sit around, do some <coughs> interviews, and then they want you to It's a lot room. of sitting around, a lot of waiting. But. Yeah. Uh, the, hosp- the hospital visit, before, like, before, I was like, man, I can't believe people actually get kicked out of the combine because of the hospital visit. Like, right. it can't really be that bad. Nah, <laughs> yeah, it was actually, exactly. Yeah, I, I I see what some, people get kicked out of the combine. If if I if I was a guy that was just disrespectful and just ignorant like that, like I probably would have got kicked kicked out the combine. Cause like right. they had us up there from twelve o'clock to five o'clock, and we had this thing at six. So we were basically up there from twelve to five for no reason. For no reason, just waiting. And, and so we, we had went to come back. At yeah, we had to come back after, and like we got done that night at like. 10 30. Well, like, when you say waiting, you mean waiting in line? Or like, just, just waiting, sitting, just, in sitting in, just waiting on them just, to call us. Just sitting in some me? chairs. Like some chairs like this, just in a room, just waiting on them to call you. Was it because, like, was the waiting time due to like them having so many people in there? Or was it like y'all were just really just sitting, waiting on nobody? No, we were just sitting in there waiting for people to come say, hey, come get Man. your x rays done. And the thing is, like, when they came and got you from that room, you just went to another room to wait. Yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't like you even, you know, people were getting happy that they called your name. And then you no, was really not doing nothing yeah, once they called your name. You still really? wait some more. Yeah, you got to go to another room and wait some more. And then mm-hmm. so you go off of wait room one, wait room two. But now finish your story, OT. You said you went on the way from the meetings. Yeah. So, you know, I'm tired. I ain't eight, seven hours. Yeah. But I got to go do these meetings. So I'm with the DC of said team. And he immediately <laughs> just started going at it. Like, I'm talking about like football and stuff that yeah. I wasn't expecting. So we talked about Yeah. That. Hey man, you know uh, he, t- he started talking about Coach Chavis' defense, which is not last year, but the year yeah, before that. So I'm really, you know, what I'm saying, I don't <laughs> know. He's like, yeah, man, um, Coach Chavis really likes those oaky fronts. So drop me, drop me up an oaky front. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I grab the pen <laughs> in my head. I'm like, what the hell is an oaky front? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I know Coach Chavis' defense. I don't know no oaky front. Right. So I'm, I'm over here just froze. Like, that's that's that uh five three two. 
Yeah, it's, the basic front. No, bro. That's G8. That's G8. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 Pretty much the same. Though. It is, but they have but they never words for it. They never yeah. call it Oki. Yeah, like he. They never, never call it Oki. They ask you to drop anything like that, like anything crazy. Or you were like, man, what the? No, hell for for the most part, they, they just they just ask you to drop like coach, under, coach under, Elko. under, yeah, yeah, under, front, under and over. Uh, show, drop me your favorite blitz or whatever. And it's but weird one, too, because it because it might be like, oh, what coverage is coming with that? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Man to man, yeah. <laughs> I like that's that's when it gets hard. Like, what coverage is that? But like, yeah, yeah. But you, you kind of know where the linebackers <laughs> are gonna be just because. Like, I mean, I just put, I just knew that he was behind me. Yeah. So I just put him behind me, and he just had the gap that was open on that side. Yeah. And then Tyrell was like somewhere else, so I just like, oh, this has got to be Tyrell. So but you, but you don't have any where you just like flat. I didn't know, so you had to make some up. No, no, there was none that just like just like stumped me at all. Um, the biggest the biggest question people would ask me would just be like, uh, "You had a good senior senior season. You did great at the All Star games. A great freshman year. But what happened like your sophomore and junior year? Like that was always the question. They'd be like, yeah, hey, yeah. you know, what you had all this hype coming out. So answered that. Um, what, what, what's been your explanation for that? Uh, this is like it's been a lot of stories coming out. Which basically, just uh, I was just dealing with a lot of change in my life at the time, being eighteen years old. Yeah, uh, it was just kind of just kind of hard to deal with at the time, but you know, I got over it. Mm -hmm. Thank God for Coach Fisher and uh, Coach Elko and Coach Robinson and those guys. Mm -hmm. So, what's on? Yeah, talk about the senior that senior bowl process. You got <clears throat> got the East Bowl, the Shrine Game yeah, invite, Shrine game. did your thing at the game. What was that experience like? That was fun, man. I, it was a lot of fun. I <clears throat> I think the reason I had a lot of success too was because of the guy that was coaching me. He was a coach from the Vikings. Okay. Um he uh he just I I just got it. I just, I understood it very quickly. Um yeah. he was what he was teaching and what he was trying to get me to do and it, it made it it made it uh very easy. It's because like the All-Star games, you know, the fronts and stuff is basic. It's like yeah. There's nothing really complicated. You know, they're going to be up under the center most of the time. A lot of guys come from like other conferences that don't get under center like that. Mm -hmm. And the way our practices are designed, like team run <coughs> at A&M, the team run period was like physical. Like it was yeah. six, seven plays long. All-star games, banging. like, you know, got a lot of guys just weren't, you could tell that a lot of people weren't used to it. Mm -hmm. So I, I think like we kind of had an edge. I remember talking to like Eric, Kiki, OT, we were talking about like, hey, how like it's not as physical as it was. In practice. Yeah, in practice. Really? Cause our practice was like, Apparently it was way more physical than we was giving it credit for. We, we were just so yeah. used to it that it, it never really, you know. But like when we got to the All Star games, you could tell that like, oh, okay, you know, you knew what guys came from the SEC and guys that were used to it, mm -hmm. and then the guys that you know came from the Big Twelve, guys that you know, they got <laughs> the you know. I mean, that that's that yeah. a perfect example because you take <laughs> you take guys from like the Big Twelve and the Pac Twelve, yeah, and then you tell them, hey, you got to put your hand in the ground, we're under center, you know, things yeah. are happening. Like that, you know, right. they're, they're really not ready for it. They just want to sit back, pass rush, you know, and get it out quick. Right. It's not like that. It's like if they do pass, it's just play action. Right. So it's basically like run blocking anyway. Did you surprise yourself at that shrine game? Or you kind of expect it to be successful? Um, I expected I expected to have success. I didn't know it would be that big of a gap. Yeah. Um, And then when I got to the senior bowl, I expected to have success too, but – the gap wasn't as big. There was better players at the senior bowl, but right. it was still like a gap, you know, that I would just – and then a lot of those guys, you know, you finally get like – you finally get one-on-ones with them, you know, like the guy from Alabama, like, wow, yeah. you know. Like, it was really the, good. Like, you really you – know Yeah, saying? for the first time, I was like, I finally get this dude like one-on-one, -on -one, you right. know, instead of like in a game where I am got the slide side and I got him and right. then someone else is bumping me. It's just – it felt kind of good to finally have people <laughs> in one-on-one -on -one situations where you can, you know, really showcase what you could do. Right. Um – but it was, it was just a, it was a really fun experience. I really enjoyed it. The grind though, I say the East West was more of a grind, just because really? I felt like the people there had more to prove. Okay, so they were like going harder. It's it's just that okay. the gap was just still too big. But they they definitely <laughs> would go harder. They definitely yeah. would go harder. And then at the Senior Bowl, it was kind of more, mm -hmm. it was kind of more laid back. 
the, I don't think the practices were were as hard at the Senior Bowl. The, the talent, the talent was there, but the practices were more smooth. But interesting. At the East West, the practices were like rough. Really? Yeah, they were rough. Okay, so you get you get the invite to the senior the to the, the recent Senior Bowl. Yeah. Did they come like email? You got a phone call? How'd you get that? Uh, it was like the Thursday. Um, Jim Nagy called me. And told me, hey, you know, you knew it was him, or he just called. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was him. Okay, my agent had told me he was going to give me a call, and uh, he told nice. me, hey, you've been doing great at the, se- the East West Shrine game. Uh, you know, we want to invite you to the Senior Bowl. He said, but you just got to make sure that you play, play in the game. Like you can't just like leave and just go to the Senior Bowl because that's what a lot of people would do. Right. So I told him I was like, yeah, I plan on playing in the uh, in the game because like, I had practice all week. The practices were hard. Yeah, you so right. Practices all I practice all week. I'm like, man, I'm playing in the game. Like that's that's yeah. the reward for practicing all week. Like you right. get to play in the game. He's like, okay, I like, like to hear that stuff. So uh, played in the East West, and then as soon as the thing, this is the thing that made me mad. I got done with the game. I'm in I'm in Florida. Yeah, I had to fly to I had to fly to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Right. And then if I fly back to Pensacola, Florida, okay, to drive to Mobile. Wait, hold on, hold on. Run I'm in, one yeah, more time. I'm, I'm in Florida. <laughs> I had to fly to Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, and then fly back to Pensacola. Why is that? Drive to to drive to Mobile. Why? I guess everybody was meeting in <laughs> meeting in Pensacola. I don't know why I couldn't just like because you, you can't fly to Mobile. Like we all had to yeah, fly to Pensacola, to where it would take like an hour drive. But I don't know how far. I mean, so maybe, then, maybe. But you was already, but you was already in Florida. Yeah, so I'm why saying, you I was in fly Florida, to Pensacola. Yeah, I was in Florida. Yeah. I had to, fly, you know, I don't know. I wasn't paying for it, so yeah, that makes sense at all. But it, just, <coughs> it didn't make sense. Actually, to me. that's the same thing that I had to do because I was training in my in Miami. You had to fly to Mobile. Fly to, I had to fly to Georgia and then fly to Pensacola. Yeah, I think so. And then drive to Mobile. As, as, what? Yeah, they got y'all messed up. Yeah. Yeah. LT, you only you at the same boat what two days? I was at the same boat. Yeah, two days. Two days. Well, two days. I had the wrist. I tried to go with the wrist because I just had the surgery. Yeah, but just wasn't working. So I just I went there. I got some interviews in. I got some other stuff in, and then mm-hmm. just couldn't do the rest of the week. Okay. And so how long were you out because of that wrist, though? Uh, that wrist had me out for about six weeks. Yeah. So you know, I came back from that, and um, the wrist feels good. I benched at at the combine, so I was just trying to show them that my wrist is healthy now. So. Yeah. Were you expecting to play though? Like, huh? were, you, were you expecting? No, to no. Play? I was, I was trying to play, even though my agents and stuff was like, like nah. you probably. I mean, that's just not the smart thing to do. But I tried it. You yeah, know. struggle, bro. But you know, it is what it is. A, what's y'all schedule like now? Y'all out here? Just, who y'all working out with? Uh, right. I'm, I'm, I'm back at Exos. Oh, down here? No, in Frisco. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In so, Dallas. Okay. Ot. Uh, we we mo- most of us are down here training with Coach Red. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got like a week. I'm, I'm gonna be back down here next Friday, then I'm gonna stay until uh, work out with Coach Red and then. Oh, so you down here just for like a week? Yeah, yeah. So. The, uh, the, the Cardinals came down; they wanted to work me and Kiki out. Okay, yeah. solid. Okay. Yeah. So when we get done with that. Um, solid. Get done. I'll, I'll get done at, um, at XO's Friday, and then I'll come up uh, come up here until pro day and stuff. Probably stay up here until pro day because I got uh, two <coughs> workouts after um, after pro day. It's in College Station. Yeah. This is completely off topic, bro. But I just remember this. I saw that, that tweet you posted the other day when you asked about the Iron Man versus Batman thing. I, I just remember this. Yeah. What side were you on? Iron Man. Okay. I was about to say. I thought you were on Batman's side for a while, bro. No. Um, wow. Batman is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Batman, this ain't terrible, bro. Batman got shot by Harvey Dent and almost died. <laughs> like Iron Man would. Iron Man would never like let somebody just shoot him and. He's but no, Iron, listen though. You saw, Iron Man. you saw I tweeted at you. I was like, "Yo, Iron Man would destroy the man easily." But yeah. all these fans started posting, tweeting at me like, Lo, "Like you tripping, bro?" Yeah, like if I Iron, don't understand that though. Like, like give Batman, Batman his respect. Anybody is like, what, what are you <laughs> debating? Yeah, like, I mean, don't, but apparently, <laughs> Batman is like, I don't know. But all I know is like, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises are probably the best superhero movies like ever. They don't movies until until this. Uh, you see the new trailer for Avengers just came out today. I haven't it seen came it. Out in the morning. Yeah. It's live. Yeah, it came out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I don't, I don't know about the Dark Knight Rises, but the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight was hard. It's still top three. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, those those, those movies were the Joker. I I hate that Heath Ledger died. Yeah, that sucks because he was, you know, that can't be duplicated. Yeah, what he did in the movie. Yeah, so. and they be coming out with the new Joker's and they just not they yeah, not the same. Just, exactly. It just don't. It, yeah, they just can't do it like he did. That. Yeah, I think people like Batman so much though. He's like a normal dude. You know what I'm saying? It's just like yeah, you know, Tom, martial Tom arts. Tony Stark is normal. 
Yeah, but Tony Stark is he got he different. He got a suit and all that. that you know what I mean? Like made the suit. Yeah, but Batman suit just lame. <laughs> <laughs> like when he got he shot, he got like that, shot bro. by Harvey Dent. I was like, dang, Batman stuff not bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, all that stuff he got, he Batman. ain't got no bulletproof suit. Batman be getting <laughs> shot, he be getting stabbed, he got stabbed he be by his like, girl. Like, bro, Bane, on, Bane, Bane was beating his set ass. Him up. Bane broke Bane his back. <laughs> Come on, dog. You know, Bane broke his back and put him in the hole. You know, <laughs> Tony. You know, they don't do Tony like that. Tony a blast Batman face off. <laughs> yeah, but then people make the argument though that Batman can be Superman based on like the He the did in the movie. Like did in the movie. Okay, so I mean Iron Man can't be Superman. Yeah, he can. Yes, anybody can if they got the kryptonite. Or if they don't have it. You know, Iron then, Man then got then the there's ability no to, contest. <laughs> Iron Man got the ability to get, you know, the kryptonite. Yeah. He made kryptonite suit. Then it's really over. If Batman ain't had that kryptonite, how long would that <laughs> fight last? How Shit. long would that fight last? Batman might get with him, though. Batman know. gonna try to <laughs> Taekwondo. I don't know why the fight didn't last, like, I don't know. That whole movie, that movie wasn't good. Yeah, that, yeah, that movie was trash. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never know. even seen the movie. Yeah, you don't need it. Was, trash. Yeah, don't was it really trash? Yeah. First of all, the, that, that that was, was trailer for was trash. The individual, really? the individual ones are good, though. Like, Man of Steel's good, Wonder Woman's good. The oh, Dark Knight's good, good You know yeah. But like when they come together They don't mesh like the Avengers mesh Like when they come yeah. together That's true That's true Good point, Dalen Good point, Dalen, right? Yeah, you know Is this camera on me? <laughs> 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 Did you hog time Put it in the basement, Dalen? <laughs> Why would I hog time people? <laughs> 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 I don't know how the whole time. That is too funny. Why y'all making fun of R. Kelly? Man. That man was bad. This is not about <laughs> music. Y'all <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Yo, I watched that about a hundred times, but. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Right. This is not about music. I'm oh like, man. Yeah. Killing me. Bro, have y'all Yo, ever put that voice on? Yeah, yeah. I know y'all. Well, they was making the perfect memes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he better be on everything. He got sentenced, didn't he? Fighting for my life. He got he get out every time. But then he just get recently sentenced for like a long period. Who did? R. Kelly. No, he just got arrested. And then he got and then he posted bail. And now the trial coming. Oh, no, I thought Dang, they, man. I thought they get that man. Oh, time. you talking about Je- Je- Jesse uh Oh Jesse Smollett yeah. got sentenced. Every time he, he had got, 16 counts. Every time he, he get he you got know, charged. Uh, what's that dude? Y N M W Kelly, whatever? Yeah, Y N W Kelly. Yeah. Melly. Y N W Melly. Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. No, it's Kelly. It's Melly. It's Melly. It's Melly or Kelly. It's Melly, bro. It's Melly, yeah, it ain't Kelly. Y M Melly. He got out. He 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 got out. Oh no, he's gone. No, he's not. He got out. What? He's out, but yeah, he's, he's about out. to go to prison though. He's out. But he was innocent. He No. What are you talking about? He didn't kill his friend, that's what they said. When they say that, that is what some people. That's what saying. some people. Say. Some people say that, but come on, brother, they didn't kill. Well, you know, pull it up. Yeah, you know, Maybe he I, just made that song. You know, every time somebody makes a murder, you, you my heard what happened to uh, Bobby Smurder. Rest in peace, Bobby. Shout out, Bobby. He coming. He getting out though. Yes, yeah. Shout out my nigga, Bobby though. What are you, what are you talking about? He got out. I can't wait to see Rashad Paul. Why you say that? Because Rashad has to be the biggest Lil Uzi fan ever. Mm. And I told him I was like, look. This is just, this is the whole rich homie Quan stuff when I came into college like like Reggie and it was oh rich homie Quan I was like that dude gonna fall off him and uh who thug? fade up no 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 young thug actually actually young thug no thug. but a lot of people thug and rich homie was right there with each other oh, at, yeah. at the time yes but then nah, so but rich nobody homie fell said. off Fetty Wap fell off well are you saying Lil Uzi gonna fall off he when the last time Lil Uzi made a song he's no he's he, a music he, out though he, he just stopped making. He Make said music he was on done. his own choice. Though. Yeah, that's because what he, he said. Can't keep coming up with, you know, they take. He him. went out on top. If he stops making music, okay. he was. He said that, and so he's just gonna take his time. What do you say? That buys him. He some was more just time to make previewing music, though. No, he bro, listen. Like, that his, buys him more. The time reason, to make the reason song. he said that he's yeah, trying, yeah. he trying to build suspense, bro. Yeah. yeah. He said he's saying I'm out the game, but then he's gonna come back like a couple months later, drop an album. Yeah, that's what they do. He buying on himself more time because it's really. He ain't fell off though. Like two or three. Yeah, he did. Like two or three months ago, it's really time for him to drop some more music. Like it's according to who? According to the one. According to the according Drizzy to you? Drake, the Drizzy Drake <laughs> fan. Drizzy Drake, you know, he drops some stuff. You know, he's talking about Drizzy, Drizzy Drake. Drake. He ain't no Drake fan. Well, gonna... Drake fan. First Patriots of all, I'm a Drake. I'm a Drake fan. Patriots fan. <laughs> Love the Lakers. One of the worst people. Lakers. You're, one of the worst people you ever meet. <laughs> One of the biggest bandwagon. You know, a love, Drake fan, a Patriots fan, a LeBron, and I love a Yankees Lakers. fan, Yankees and a Lakers fan. fan. You know, it is what God it is. God bless Trust you. Me, you get what you get. Yeah. You got to try your little freestyle back. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think your definition of falling off is different, bro. Because Rich Homie Kwan is still making music. It's just strange. Really? Because ain't nobody heard it. 
It's just trash. When Rich Homie Quan drop an album, is it on the timeline? No. Oh, when Drake drops his. That's not what I'm, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm not comparing him to Drake. I'm saying to Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi ain't put out music. When Lil Uzi drops it, he's on the timeline. He just hasn't dropped it because he ran out of ideas. No, out of ideas. new, 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 new. Uh, you know. Maybe some people just need a break from making music. Yeah, you, you know, because I would say I'm taking a break and retiring if I was trying to buy some more time to just get ready. No. So you saying he's trash? So if Drake retired right now, which I which, which who are the top five rappers in the game right now? Drake said this is his last in album. in the game right now. Yeah, that Drake current. didn't say that. He did, but he gonna make another album. Yeah, you know, you know, every what? artist say that though. No, every artist do that. I'm not gonna make music so that fans can be like, oh. I mean, Drake said different. Yes, he said Scorpion was gonna be his last studio album, oh, and cool. all of a sudden he's still working on an album. Yeah, come on, dog. It's just marketing. Who do you listen to, Baylor? Who you listen to? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Name your top five rappers. Yeah, who do you listen in to? In the game right now. My, let me not go total top five, but who do you listen to? Your top five. Yeah, yeah. The just. best rapper ever is Lil Wayne. Okay. You still yeah. listen to Wayne? <laughs> so that, oh, that old Listen, guy. are you currently listening to Lil, Lil Wayne? That old stuff go hard. That old Wayne still go hard. Hey, I'm, I'm oh, listening the other day. I listened to Uptown the other day. I was like, damn, I forgot. Go hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He hate, he hate on Lil Wayne. No, 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 Lil Wayne's no, hard. He's Lil Wayne's hard. No, no, no. Wayne, Wayne is cold. Wayne, Wayne is a go. I'm just saying. Currently, I listened to Crown by Jay Z the other day. I was like, dang, I forgot. How, I forgot about that song. Jay, Jay, Jay been a go. Kanye West does some questionable things, but you he, aren't answering <laughs> our questions. He's, he's answered it in pieces. I'm in pieces. You ain't. I named Lil Wayne, Jay Z, Kanye. Drake. Currently, you're. You know, Kanye does some questionable things, but his music, you know. So that's who you listen. To. So you're more of a classical guy, like you, like you're, you're not listening. Oh, to well, who, who you listen? To? No, 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 you know, you're not listening to music that's coming out nowadays. You just name it like goats. Like, do you know any like current artists? I'm sorry, my favorite rappers just so happen to be the best rappers. Those, those are my <laughs> favorite rappers too. Okay, I'm just saying. But we're talking about current music that's been put out. New artists, say uh, from know, these new 2015. You, know, these new, you don't, you don't really like these the new, new people. You know, Travis Scott. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. But what, yeah. what was your favorite album from this year? I I just like song. I ain't really get. This is not. It's been a minute since that whole album. Mm. Mm. You know, Drake normally his whole album is just really good. Yeah, totally. Travis Scott. Yeah, Astro was hard though. The whole album was hard. I mean, yeah, you know, Kanye put out some whole some some albums that like okay, the whole album, you know. Travis Scott. I feel like when I listen to Travis Scott, oh yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever song that is, that's gonna be. Yeah, but but you know, Tra Travis Scott puts out some songs. You like, you listen to Sicko Mode. Yeah, and then you're like, skip a couple songs. Oh, okay, this here. You know, I really listen to Travis Scott until you know Tyrell Dotson. That's his. He loves Travis Scott for some reason. Tyrell put you on. Tyrell put you on the track. Tyrell, Tyrell put me Tyrell on. Tyrell put you on. I'll give, I'll give him his credit. He Tyrell loved Travis Scott. Okay. Anyway, so you didn't really answer the question, but Ot. Your top five artists right now. I'm just going off the last albums that came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From Obviously. last year. Number one had to be Nipsey Hustle. Okay. 100%. Questionable. Questionable. Uh you like your Nipsey? your favorite artist, Pusha T, correct? Pusha T. Pusha T. Did you hear that? I have oh, oh, I'm sorry. Pusha T references. Push <laughs> album was hard this year. He probably him you him just, him and Nipsey probably had a You know top why Push two. album was actually good? You know how people paid attention to Push album? Because him and the Drake beef. Thank you. Drake gave a man life. Oh, Drake gave him life. Yeah. Shout Drake out to Anthony Hines, life. though. I know you a Pusha T fan, but Drake I'm just breathed life into this boy. He didn't breathe life into him, so to speak. Yeah, he did. Push was just responding to Drake. No, Push tried to attack Drake, and also. then Drake responded. Well, how did, no, 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 didn't no, no, the beef start with Push attacking push, Drake? They always attack Drake. Oh, no. Meek Mill Push attacked. and Wayne was beefing. Right? No. Then Drake wanted to add his two cents. Why was Push and Wayne beefing? Push and Wayne been beefing for years. Over, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, Push, so but Push came at Drake. No. So, what did, so what did Drake say to, to initiate the beef then? Drake was on some song that I can't remember the name of. He threw some shots at probably good music or something like that. Uh -huh. Which is Push. Push, right? So, so Push, push came responds. At Drake. Made a whole song about him? Didn't make yeah. a whole song about him. What yeah. whole song about it? Hold on. Talking about infra Push. Infrared Drake, was not a, Infrared was terrible. He, he, he had one line. Infrared was, was What was the line in there? The one line was and talking about the ghost writing. Is that the whole song? Didn't he write a whole verse about him, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, he did. And then a whole Kanye verse? go, no. Kanye go no. behind Drake back and tell Pusha T all this stuff, you know, about You Drake seen the barbershop, man. Come on now. Thank you. 
Drake was hurt, though. <laughs> and your who, man was hurt. Your man lost. <laughs> what they mean? I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, you know, I forgot to say Eminem. Eminem? <laughs> Eminem? <laughs> They went, they went back in 2005 for real. Yeah, the, that was the that was a. You, I, I, bro, I'm hard. with you, Dalen. Dalen with this, he with the classical. Dalen still listen to his iPod Shuffle. That's why. <laughs> he talking about the old classic. Man, movies. you didn't have no iPod Shuffle. You had the iPod. What you yeah, had? I, yeah, yeah. You had the big old iPod, <laughs> <laughs> the big stupid one that looked like the phone, but it was just music. Yeah. We're playing Temple Runner, and it wasn't touch screen either. It was the one where you. Circle. <laughs> it's all right. Oh man, so Dalen, what are you? Are you? How much? How much testing are you doing at the pro day? Uh, I'm just doing the drills. Just the drills. No yeah. testing at all. Nah, I don't. I like my numbers. So I'm fine. Okay. Until you decide on anything. Uh, I'm gonna do the ones I can get to, and probably do the forty again. Okay. Uh, yeah, you gotta do that. Again. Gotta gotta do forty. Well, yeah. my <laughs> agent said yeah, yeah. that. Um, since like the official Down numbers there. came back from the four seven, yeah. like they, they said it was a four seven eight, but Ooh. I still know that I was running in the high four sixes, so right. that's why I was going to do it again. <laughs> oh, 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 so I can run my actual time. <laughs> mm-hmm. However, you said that you was going to run what a four nine eight. That's what you was. Like, like, you I thought I was going to run four nines. I got the official was five point oh six. You were running four nine at, at training or what? I was running four nines. Four nines. Uh, I really just wanted to um, have a good ten yard split. Yeah, damn. You know. Um, Coming in about coming coming uh lighter. Right. You know. Did you come in lighter? Not the combine, I'm talking about I'll come in lighter <laughs> than I did at the combine. Yeah, because at the senior ball you was lighter than the combine, was you? Yeah. Right. Okay. You still look good though, huh? Yeah, hey, you look good, oh, man. Look Big great. bacon back. Hey look, but are you seen that tweet I posted the other day, bro? The one my Jiffies. The cornbread dude, bro, the Jiffies. Oh yeah, man. Some dude at the combine got me. Bro, I'm telling you. No, no, that was that was that was funny. But like, I, mean, I, I couldn't even, you know, when he did that, <laughs> I was like, dang. But no, you see the tweet I posted, bro. Look, you need to do a, a marketing thing with Jiffy's, bro. Recreate that scene for a commercial. Make yourself some money, bro. Man, y'all done told you so many Whataburger stories. <laughs> <laughs> now, Whataburger got to yeah, get you They actually some. sent me, they actually, I got some stuff from Whataburger. Really? Yes. Yeah, so oh! like, we putting boys on. Let's go. Let's I know. go. Okay, well, you need to be wearing a Whataburger shirt. <laughs> Dale and Mac want to make you our mascot. <laughs> make you the mascot? Now that'd be live. Dale and Mac. And we get free Whataburger on the house, too. Oh, me. Oh, My bad. Yes, sir. You good? No? They give you the Whataburger card yet? I know that they you the gift card. <laughs> they had to. Dale, we going to Whataburger right oh, now. Oh, God. Let's hey, go. Come on hey, now, though. Triple meet on Dale. Head back as soon as I'm done. Got to head back, get back in there, you know. Got a week left to train. Week left to train. When is probably the 20, 21st? It's What's coming it? quick, actually. What was your vertical? 27. This is what shocked me at the combine. Eric McCord jumped at 31. Mm-hmm. Impressive. See, that impressive 27 is pretty good, though, for you. Huh? Impressive ain't the word. Did he Eric jumping 31 inches, with all, when we were testing it, the highest he was getting was like 25. Really? Yes. I guess we jumped like a 30-something here, though. Man, Daily, you might jump higher than Cullen. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, but Cullen, Cullen like sneaky. Athletic. Cullen athletic. Yeah, but sneaky we but, but but he just can't jump. But he fast. That's fine. He fast. <laughs> yeah, he fast. What you think he's gonna run in the forty? Four, six, See. maybe four, five. We gonna have a lot of really? guys. Cullen fast. Like boy, gonna, boy, boys don't know about Cullen. I can we gonna have a lot of people at the at the pro day and that's gonna like really. Yeah, impressed. Really, yeah, because uh, who are we got? To Landis, do Landis, Landis, gonna put some I mean, Landis up. is at EXOs. He's gonna put up some really good numbers. Cullen's gonna put up really good numbers. Keaton, mm-hmm. Keaton, yeah, Keaton, 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 Landis. I, yeah. We should, really should have had the most people invited to the combine. Yeah, because for, for sure, Keaton. Keaton been Landis starting really since good. like a freshman. freshman year. Yeah, Landis had like 19 and a half sacks in two years, and Cullen got to be the best special teams player in the draft. So. I mean, we Donovan really also was hurt at the combine, so yeah. he didn't put up, put up his. I know, also, yeah, so yeah. he, he yeah. didn't. Because on vertical, I so feel like he probably gonna look like some outrageous. We really could have about twelve boys at the combine, I know. That's what I'm saying. We should yeah. have, we should have had the most out of everybody, but you know, it is what. Actually, it is. no, there was a couple that had like what 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 was the biggest number there? Bama vertical. No, like oh, Bama had eleven. We had what eight. We had nine. Nine. So it was close. We had no. We had eight. We had eight. Yeah, but you know. We so, easily we easily have like three or four more people that can come. Yeah, absolutely. Then real quick before I let you go, bro, give me your breakout player 
for next year for Texas A and M. It's gonna be it's gonna be a man, it's gonna be a big fight for the twelfth. Who's who gonna be the twelfth man? So I think whoever that person ends up being, breakout player of the year, is gonna be a re- very good player. Also, whoever the runner up is uh, is gonna be a very good player. But man, like. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of you know. Bobby Brown's about to break out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jaden Peavy's about to break out. Mm-hmm. Jay Sean Corbin's about to break out. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be Hines and KK first. You know, Tom being full time starters. KK, Buddy yeah. Johnson. Talk to him. You know, we got these new uh, Buddy Johnson. These new DBs. You know, and then the old DBs. They're gonna be more familiar with the system. Right. So I feel like the defense is gonna be. Solid. Yeah, very, 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 very solid. solid. Uh, the O line, you know, just lost Eric. That's that's a big piece, but yeah, I feel like a lot of guys are getting groomed to step in and take that role on anyway. So I feel like the O line is going to be very good. Right. Um, and then Kellen, obviously, you know, third time being a full time starter, third year being a full time starter, he'll be fine. And then J- J- Jay Sean, I think, is going to be the most exciting player on offense, mm-hmm. along with uh, Q. Jamon, you know, it's a lot. Kendrick, yeah, receiving you know, core look good. Kendrick, yeah, yeah receiving nice. core is definitely core good. good. I, we we got a lot of, <laughs> we have a ton of talent. Yeah, ton of talent, mm. and you know, you just you just see guys like stepping into roles. You're like, oh, okay. You know, I, I know people are looking at like, oh, we lost like on the line, me, Kiki, Tyrell, Dawson, but the people that we have stepping into the roles are like. You know, they really could have started last year. Right. You know. Yeah, they were talented enough to start. Yeah, they were talented enough to start last year. other guys in front of them. You know, there's other guys in front of them. So, like, now that they have the, you know, the focus is on them, mm. you know, I'm expecting a lot of big things to come from. I think we'll be solid again against the run this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the, the D-line you know, has to. And, like, we had a lot of people that was hurt before the season started. That's like true. Michael Clemens. Yeah, Big yeah. Mike. So, you got Chapman. I don't know. I don't know how Big the Cliff. I don't know how the D-line is, like, where people are, I don't know if it's like I don't know if they moved J Man J Mad outside because mm. I know that someone said Bobby was nose. They probably keep inside. Yeah, so J Mad outside, Bobby the nose, PV at the three, Clemson on the other side. I mean, okay, no yeah. one's running the ball. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. And then we got these new. Uh, this I think we got the number one JUCO DB. Mm-hmm. Um, I know boy from uh, I saw Blades. Him. Yeah, and then we got um. It's like this, we got this. I wouldn't mean got this new tight end. I would never have a re- weak ringtone like that. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> you still be buying your ringtones. <laughs> Soldier boy, tell him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, but we got a we we got a lot of talent. A lot of talent. You know, I was I walked to the locker room, looked at that schedule though. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> It got kind of tough, yeah. But give me your one, like you had to put money on this, million dollars right now, one breakout player. That I was for sure about? That you're going to be for sure about, that's going to break out this year. Jay Sean Corbin. Jay Sean Corbin? Jay Sean Corbin, Keith McGee, Anthony Hines for me. Anthony Hines? Anthony Hines. I think, Listen, man. I think uh, Jay Sean is a safe pick just, be, <laughs> just because like he did yeah. a, he did great with what like little carries he had last year. Has right. Justin Matabuke broke out? I would say he's already broke yeah, out. Yeah, he's, he's already on the scene. I've, I've I thought feel, about declaring this year, but I mean, uh, I think J, I think J Man will be a, be a first rounder next year. Yeah, after after going through the process and seeing like the stuff, I talked to him. You know, I was like, as long as you don't just listen to coach, right? Don't do any stupid dumb things, J Mad yeah, type. He came stuff. in as a knucklehead. Yeah, don't don't do any stupid stuff. And like, I think he'll go in the first round after going through the process because I feel like when he gets to the All Star games, like. Gonna dominate boys. Yeah, I, that's a re, that's a you real. Think he'll go to All Star. Yeah. I mean, see him be a senior next year. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he'll go. To, he for sure should. I mean, that's that's just an eye opening experience. Like you get out there and you realize, like, oh, he's gonna be a senior. I thought he's gonna be a junior. Red shirt junior. Red shirt. Oh, okay. That's 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 what I was saying. Like I thought he's a junior. Yeah. He can't go to All Star. So. No, Eric got Eric. Yeah, got Eric, Eric, yeah, know. that's right. Yeah. Back in the day when we was waiting every day trying to get that invite to the All Senior Bowl. Oh, that was hilarious, bro. Man, I was, remember them days. Them days was hilarious. Man, I, 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 like, hey, you get invited. <laughs> <laughs> you get that invite to the Senior Bowl. You sit up there mad. We're like, dang, I can't believe. Then you, then and you then, see somebody else you know, get an invite. You like, I can't believe. You're like, man, I can't believe he got an invite. Then what really make you mad is when you get there and like you start playing and you making plays and you thinking like. I These dudes really got invites. He had an invite. I was really not about to be here because they invited him, and he just got slammed on the ground for like the fifth time today. <laughs> like, 
Was it, boys about to get exposed like that? Yes, he was right there getting it. There was and there was one guy from an SEC school. I'm not gonna name him. <laughs> you know, that got an invite that I was like, man, I can't believe. Yeah, he got an invite that I didn't see win a Pastors rep all week. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not a single rep. Not a single rep. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just like, man, it, you know, it, you just see guys out there. I don't like, know who you talking about. Was he? Yeah, was because he, you, you, you just see guys out there, and then you looking around. Then there's some guys that went to like, you know. Some one of the top schools in ACC, and you have to looking like, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe do. maybe he was just good because he just because of the school he was at. Ooh, you know, you 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 <laughs> see you see you see a lot of stuff that you're like, hmm. Make you kind of yeah. Sit you know, back. I, I wish I wish a lot of players on the team could have like seen how it actually went. Yeah, because you know, in the game, some people, you know, some some teams some teams. Win games sometimes because of like who they are, mm -hmm. and they so boys are overrated. Basically, that's what you're saying. Oh, a yeah. lot of oh. things. I, I'm I'm say a lot of things is hype. Yeah, a lot. Really, a lot. A of lot things of things is hype because when you at, when you actually get out there and like, okay, I'm going through the drills with them. You know, because I've I mean I've seen mm -hmm. what number one looks like. Yeah, you know, I'm playing with Miles Garrett for two years. Like I've seen what, like, wow, that can't be duplicated. Like no one's else, no right, one, nobody else, nobody that. else can do that. Mm -hmm. Like so, I've seen it at the highest level, and you know, I've seen like what it's like to have like extreme athleticism. I'll say that the most like impressive guy to me was like Montez Sweat, like mm -hmm. from Mississippi State. Like, yeah, he has the longest arms, and he ran a four four one. So that makes him like. Yeah. He's gonna get you. Like, yeah, yeah. He has the reach. He has the, the speed, the stride. Like, right. explosive. Yeah, I seen him like engage with the guy, just like flat back him, and like the guy could never even get his hands on him because like he just his arms are so long. Right. Um, but a lot of it was hype. A up. lot of it was hype. Like you see, you. I just, I just wish a lot of guys on the team could have been like, hey, look, could actually been out there to experience it. Yeah, like a lot of it was hype because like now like. Now it's just one on one. Like, yeah, it's not like you have help from your other five star. Right. It's like it's just me and you. Right. So, yeah. Oh, I wonder who this dude is, though, bro. You gotta yeah. be curious now. Yeah. Was the brother competing? Was he like going out there about the stalemate and just losing, or was he like getting dominated? And he, he's the way we practice. <laughs> the way we practice, like with Coach Fisher. Yeah. Was at a higher, but I, I, maybe we just didn't recognize it because yeah. we we were just growing so used to it, right? But we actually probably practiced at a higher level than a lot of other teams, mm. like a ton of other teams. And like um, a lot of times, Coach Fisher would tell us, like, you know, we're the better team. You know, at, at the first time he said that, it's hard to believe it sometimes. Yeah, the first know? time he said that was the second game of the season against Clemson. Right. You know, People's like, coach, yeah, you know, it's Clemson, you know, we're the better team. Brother. You know. Yeah. And Are you sure about get that? out there in the game, you're like, oh, he was right. Yeah. The, the, another time he said that we're the better team was against LSU. Mm -hmm. And like, um, that, I feel like we were three touchdowns better than LSU, but it was just part of getting over the hump. Right. You know, finally breaking down that barrier. And so we, you know, we took it a little further than, it's just a little bit further than, you know, the game probably should have went, but. Mm -hmm. I thought we were like probably two or three touchdowns better than LSU, but it was just part of getting over this. Just getting over that hump was just hard. Mm -hmm. But um, when you when you get to like the uh, when, you, when we got to the Senior Bowl, you saw like some <coughs> some people were doing you know walking like a, a guy jumped off sides and like he just walked back. Like okay, yeah. get back. He's just walking back. And this is a guy one Coach of the price with a yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mother Price, yeah. You know this is a, and this is a guy that's at a you know a top school in the SEC. You know yeah. I'm not gonna, you know I'm not gonna say what school it is, but. Yeah, but this is one. This is one of the top guys now. It's yeah. supposed to be really, really good. Yeah, and he's walking back in line. Uh, another guy, you know, didn't win a single rep, getting slammed on the ground. <laughs> you know, he's just like, oh. People are just developing bad yeah. habits, I guess, at different schools. Yeah, that's good. To, that's good to know we got good coaches here, man. I think we headed right. in the right direction. Great. Yeah, we got great coaches because we. That, that's just the biggest eye for me is just how how far yeah. ahead we were of a lot of teams and people. Mm. Last question I'm gonna ask both y'all, and I'm gonna let you go. What is the what's the biggest thing? Well, let me see. What are you most proud of that you accomplished here at A and M? This past season. This past season. Yeah, just winning a ball game. I know that seems like it's not a big deal, but that was that was a big deal. Oh, you're not even talking about like your personal success. You mean the whole team? 
Yeah, the whole team. That was that winning, winning the ball game was a big deal, and not having that. Um, I think ending the season on a winning streak yeah. is something that hasn't been done in a long. Yeah. Well, we ended the season on like a four, four or five game winning streak. That that's something that hasn't been done in a while. Yeah. So that's that's a big deal. I I think for me it had to be winning the LSU game. Yeah. Just because I was here for a while. So every year. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. So. That yeah. That 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 too. Those that too. losses. Those losses. Be, because he, uh, up, man. yeah, even coach yeah. even coach Elko told us he was like the narrative that was created where people their teams say that we're a soft physical team was mm-hmm. created by that was created by LSU. Like right. they was the team that said, That's Hey, right. yeah, they're a, they're a soft team, like we can just be physical with them, beat them down. Like they created right. that narrative. So getting over that hump was a really big deal. Mm. That's cr- I remember when they first started saying that stuff. Yeah, like Marcus that, Spears. And, yeah, they were the team that started saying that, hey, you know, true. they're they're a soft team. So just just beating them at their own game was really really good, <coughs> especially how long it went. You know, it yeah. felt like a, it felt like it a heavyweight out fight. And we just yeah. outlasted them and you know got them. Yeah. So I still to this day have not watched that film. You know, I watched a couple of reruns. Really? You watched yeah, the film? I, I will never watch. That. <laughs> yeah, <I'm saying. laughs> I will never watch that game. Hey, like, hey, fifty plays. Hey, listen, listen, a lot of the teams that I was meeting with though, they was pulling up that film though. Really? Because there was just so much film that you made yeah. some mistakes, bro. Yeah, was, especially was, fourth overtime. The, oh, I bet. Oh, and I'm out here like, there's, there's certain things that I will never, by ever the, misfit how many, this how many, play. How many plays did y'all play? Like one I time. Know, I think I might. I played every snap except one of the overtime. What? So I think I might have got up to like maybe 80, 80, maybe 80, 90 plays. That's crazy, bro. It could have. It could have been a hundred. I don't know. Because like our offense would score quick, yeah, and then they then LSU would go on like a five or six play drive, and the and thing that hurt the most is like we'll get them to third. Like and you're six. about to stop them, and then they finally just yeah, get in we there. Get them, we get them to and third and six, balls. and you know they can't throw the ball, yeah. and then they boom, they get like a little easy, and he get it by just just as much, and it was like those those back to backs. Where like they scored and you got to get right back on defense. <laughs> those those are the ones that like hurt. Yeah. Those hurt. But like I, I was tired. I probably like, I know my snaps look ugly and like, <laughs> I wanted to come. I like I didn't want to come out the game because like I don't yeah. know this could be my last snap on Kyle Field. Right. You know. And then uh, that that night was just crazy, man. That it night is was crazy, crazy, bro. Because like after the game, like everybody rushed the field and you know I talked to the fans for like fifteen minutes and I'm trying to help them get out the field. And that's when it hit me. I was like, "Dang, I need, I need to just take my time because this is my yeah, last, this last chance walking out the field." Like Smack you on the back of the neck. Yeah, so you might, you might just take your time. Yeah, crazy. I'm glad that uh, when I got to the tunnel, my mom was there waiting for me, so she got to walk me to the locker room. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, Miss Jeracy. Yeah, shout out. Beautiful son, mother moment right there. So that was cool. <laughs> glad you finally came on, bro. Ot, good to have you back, all fam. Bro, come back on next week whenever I do. Man, uh, hell. when I do your boy, who I can't even put it out there yet, but it's your boy. Your Listen, brother. if it, if it ain't Keith McGee, I will never watch this podcast again. Okay, <laughs> it's why so, has Keith McGee not been on this show? Keith McGee is on his way. All right, fellas, thank y'all for coming on so much. Thank you guys for tuning in so much. They yeah, like, man, it's good to be thank here, you guys dog. Go subscribe, in, like, you know comment, saying? share. They like subscribe shout to the page, your boy, man. Hmm? Subscribe shout to the channel, boy. Man. Hey, shout out Cypress, Texas, too. You ain't got no money. It's free. Shout out Cypress, Texas. Yeah, you know I ain't got that free really on the site. You feel me? They like, it's free. Uh, subscribe to the channel. But what is dude talking about? Shout out to eight. Subscribe, uh, like, oh. comment. Thank you guys for tuning in so much. Shout out Nigeria. You're not from Nigeria. I know. You're not from West Africa. You're not from Brooklyn. Take your boy. They only not. Shout out Haiti. I know you're from Haiti. Shout out you to know. Haiti. Yeah, you give a shout age, out to Haiti. You know, I'm a, I'm a two timer. He's a you know one timer. I went twice. You went back next year, right? Went twice. Didn't learn a thing, huh? It's all right. <laughs> all right. Hey, this did, year, my did, bad. Did you, did you go? Man. I did go. Yeah, don't Ooh, play with me. Oh, that's when don't you and Kima got into it. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you and Kima. Thank got you guys for tuning in so much. <laughs> you have a very blessed day. Peace. <laughs>